Folks, we're back with the haul since we went to the Antique Mall. Thought you might want to see right here on my take on Home and Garden. Last week you saw me go to Nicole's Beach Street Mall. Antique Mall on the beach in Daytona, Florida. Wanted to take some time and show you what I couldn't leave there without. You knew I had to pick up something. <laughs> you, you can't go, you did the same problem. You can't go in there and close both eyes and walk through that store and leave. <laughs> Empty handed, impossible. All the comments commented on something that they loved and wanted and saw. And that's the fun. Even if you don't buy or get to buy, and some of you talked about making a list. So I love that. Making a list of things you saw, things you need, you want, that go with your collection. And that works out pretty good too. So here we go. First thing, anybody remember? I had to have. Oh, that paper's crunchy. Here's Mud Man, and he was extra good. Didn't have him, and had to bring him home. You know we got that collection. So how do you add to it? You pick up something once or twice a year. That's, that's it for Mud Men. You know, last year I think I got two the whole year. This year, he's the first one course hmm, we got Christmas in June coming up <laughs> didn't want to hold him back from you now he's missing his little bamboo fishing pole but you know I'll take care of that no problem and I was just in a store where figures this size they wanted $75 okay this guy today $18. Love it. Love it. He's a tall one. He's one of our bigger ones. See if you agree. The other thing, I could not leave there and it was too good of a buy. And that, and that booth, if you recall, had a Mother's Day sale. It's crazy. Like the stuff wasn't good enough. 20% off. Unbelievable. A pair of Baroque Angel Heads. Had to have them. And hopefully you'll agree when you see what I'm going to do with them. Hmm. And I think I'm going to mount them and put them up and show you before the end of the video. To me, why are they special? Just like the lions. It's not just two lions. It's a pair. A left and a right, and same with these. This is why I was so excited about them. First of all, their size for the money is a huge buy. Okay, try, try to find these. These are designer resin, and I don't mind at all, because they, if you do have a, an accident, they can bounce where the plaster or ceramic is just gonna shatter, and you, they are done. So. I don't mind the resin at all. And they're just beefy, big, and like I say, a left and a right pair of pooty heads for $16, guys. Where you're gonna go, I don't know. That's three things from Nicole's. There is one more thing. I'm gonna save it till the end end because it won't fit right here exactly now I want to share a couple of eBay finds and I think you'll agree that they're quite exquisite this little pair of vases I went nuts over them okay Royal Beirut which is Bavarian and these are I think before the turn of the century 
and they are marked on the bottom. I think they're like 1879 with portraits on one side. You see the lesser side or the minor side it has no portrait. You can only look at one at a time, right? Unless it's in the middle of a table. It's not going to be in the middle of a table. So the major side has a portrait. They're both different. They are a pair. Are you ready? $25 delivered to the front door. That included delivery. Wow. <laughs> Absolute anti-cues for $25 and they are anti-cute. <laughs> Unbelievable. Love, love, love these. Angela went nuts over them. You can imagine. Like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. You new folks, you know you want to be here. We have a lot of fun and you can join our friends and family right here on YouTube. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Alrighty. The girl's so good about it, she'll probably already have it pulled up before I talk about it. If you recall, I had a serving dish, a handled, upright handled serving dish in this exact pattern. And again, it's Royal Bavaria. I found this two handled. That means it's a cake plate, cake server, a cake, a normal cake will fit on this in the exact pattern with the three women, some call the three muses. I think that's earlier than this. This is, the muses are Greek, Roman mythology. These are Victorian era. So I don't call them muses. Absolutely exquisite. I'm not quoting this one because it was a little zippy. Zippity doo da, you gotta pay up once in a while. <laughs> so, unlike a lot of my thrifting, this is not thrifting. This is wanting to match that piece I already had. Okay? Love, love, love it. And I wanna tell you a quick story. There was a, another one. A bigger, little bit bigger platter, so it's more oval on there, and they wanted like 60, $64 and plus the shipping. I'm, I don't pay, it. I'm not paying that. So, you know, that wasn't that. All righty. Now, before I show you my birthday present, I, uh, we just showed you the gifts and sentiments and things from our friends and subscribers from Mary and Greg that sent the uh, Occupied Japan things. There was a couple with the problem and I fixed a couple. So I'm, I wanted to show them. This guy had the mouse bite out of his top hat and here's the repair for you on him. Now, you may not remember him. I think Angela said he didn't make it into the uh, video because the mic had a case and, and made a noise or something, so she took it out. You know, that happens from out of nowhere for some reason, like some outside interference or something. So just They'll know, because they packed it and they remember what it looked like, but for everyone else's sake, in the front, there was a sunflower seed size bite out of the rim of the hat here on top, and now there isn't. So I did want to show them I repaired that. Angela thought it was superb. You can't tell. It's it's really good. And then a good hard enamel paint 
touch up that hat. Now, the cat and the fiddle, <laughs> he was missing his bow. So now you can see that's been replaced. And I thought it looked really good. He even got a little touch up on his ears and tail and so on. Wanted to share and show you those repairs too while we were at it. Next, <laughs> I'm, if I can get through this without melting down, we'll, we'll be good. This is the only Nippon style Oriental cocoa set that we have with a tray that matches the set. They want a fortune. And of course, why? Because they got broke. <laughs> you know, people that didn't know how to move, handle, take care of their stuff, know how to pack, you know, they got broke, they broke them. So let me tell you, I told Cutie what I wanted. I found this hunting and surfing on the eBay. You know that with five cups and saucers. Now it probably had six. Like I try, I say, I think most of them had six. And if you look here, how this fits, you see that one more would fit over here see that just as a reference most of them that are complete that i see have six now i also for the first time ever in my life saw a couple with 12 cups and saucers i couldn't believe it and there was one with more than that and I couldn't get over that there was such a thing. Unless they took two sets and had one pot, but it just didn't seem so. You know, it didn't, didn't make sense. You could? Oh my goodness. The color and the artwork on here is superb. Why, why am I melting down? I, I'm gonna tell you why. This is 1800s too. This is right on the turn of the century. Look at the tray, the serving tray that goes with it. We'll get some good close-ups, you know that. <laughs> oh man, it's just superb. Like I say, yes, we have a lot of cocoa pot. That's our passion, you know that, you guys that have been with us. What's special about it too, you always hear me yapping. I can't even believe this. This is the payoff for surfing late at night. <laughs> you know, I used to be out on the water. Now I'm doing better. We still boogie board and I'll go I'll do a little surfing, but I have more fun doing this surfing, believe me, and for are you ready? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with any piece here. The only thing that's really wrong overall is there's a cup and saucer missing. Someday I might just hit a brick wall and find it. But at $85, <laughs> I was nuts about this set. I love it. It's so different. You can just see the age in the early colors that they used to, uh, to me, I think. I'm nuts about it. And the only thing today that comes close to this is what I'm going to show you next. So I got to move the cameras and I'm going to show you what came home from Nicole's Beach Street Mall. Alrighty guys, here's the, the big prize that came home. Oh my goodness.
I love how some of you said, if you went to the store, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> Easily done. But this is so far speed. A fine oil on canvas, and it does remind us of the one in the dining room. In a superb frame. Honestly, I think it's the same artist. Unbelievable. And that is Aaron did ours. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really convinced because the table and the vase looks the same. I'm going to take you over to the other one. Look at this vase. Now I haven't seen where he signed this, but it's Im it's impossible. Some of you mentioned the bird's nest. I just thought that was so cute too. And see how the Victorians always had one fall out or down on the table. It's classic. But the rich colors and the reds in here and the way that bud bends. Classic for that period. I would have been hurting to not get it. Okay, now I'm gonna take and show you the other one. Look at the table and the vase and those light little flowers. Now you know why I had to have it. It's, I'm convinced it's the same artist. It's incredible find. And this is what I saw when I first saw him. That Baroque look that we love. And of course, these I'm leaving in the antique white because they're in here. They're in the breakfast room, music room area. If they were in the living room, they'd be getting a gold job done. So let me know what you think. This is what I see when I'm in a store. I see them at the house, all modeled and built in and looking right for what we have. All righty, what a difference now. So folks, thanks for coming by and don't forget, you know, there's a lot coming. We got collections, we're on the road, road trips, we're decorating. The next thing you're gonna see, I think, might be decorate the living room with me. Can you make it? Can you be here for an over the top decorating video? Take care everybody. You know we care about you, and we'll see you in the next video.